Hello, in this tutorial, we are going to create an explosion particle. First, import two textures and then create a material. You can download textures in our Discord channel. While holding down T on the keyboard, press the left mouse button to create two texture sample nodes and set the imported textures to each of the texture sample nodes. Next, create a text chord node and set its UV value to 2. Next, after creating a panner node, connect it with the text chord node. While holding down S on the keyboard, press the left mouse button to create two parameter nodes and set names and values for the parameter nodes. Next, create an append node and connect the parameter nodes with it to create coordinates. And connect the append node to the panner node to get coordinate values. Connect the panner node to the noise texture to make the noise texture move. While holding down M on the keyboard, press the left mouse button to create a multiply node and then create a parameter node. Set a name and value for the parameter node. Multiply the noise texture value with the parameter so that the noise intensity can be adjusted in the material instance. Next, after copying the nodes connected to the panner node as shown in the video, reset the names and values. Then while holding down on the keyboard, press the left mouse button to create two add nodes and connect the add node as shown in the video. Add offset values to align texture coordinates. Connect red channel with multiply node again so that it only receives the value of one channel instead of three channels. Finally, if you preview the connected texture sample node, you can see that the texture is meandering with the noise texture. Next, create a power node and a parameter node. After setting the name and value of the parameter node, connect it with the power node. And by connecting the texture sample node to the power node, we can adjust the intensity of the smoke. Change the UV value of the copied text chord node back to 1. Next, create a radial gradient exponential node and a parameter node. After setting the name and value of the parameter node, connect it to the radial gradient exponential node. Then multiply the texture sample node with the radial gradient node to mask the texture in a circle. Next, create a particle color node to allow the particle system to set the particle's color. Using two multiply nodes, one multiplies the particle color RGBA channel and the texture, and another one multiplies the particle color alpha channel and the radial gradient node. As in the video, connect the multiply nodes to emissive color and opacity to set the particle color and mask. Finally, set the materials blend mode to translucent, then save and return to the content browser. Now, let's create an explosion particle. Create a particle system. First, in required, set the material we just created. Next, set the rate to zero, create an array in burst, and set the count to 60 so that particles appear as much as the count value at a time. Then, in required, set emitter loop to one so that the emitter runs only once, and in lifetime, set min and max values. Set the particle size and initial size and remove the initial gravity to get rid of gravity. Next, create a sphere location, set the distribution of start radius to uniform, and set the min and max values so that particles are spawned within the set range. Next, after creating the initial rotation, set the value so that when the particle is spawned, the rotation value is randomly received within the set value range. Then after creating the scale color, set the time and value as in the video to make the particle color change more natural. And in color over life, set the color that changes over time like the video. After creating a size by life, set a time and value to make the explosion spread. Next, create a new particle emitter. In the required of the new particle emitter, set the material to the gradient radial material provided by start content. Then set the emitter loop to 1. Set the count of bursts and spawn. Set the values of lifetime and initial size. Remove initial velocity, set time and color and color over life.
Next, create a sphere location and set the start radius value to be similar to the previous emitter. Then, check the velocity, apply distribution of the velocity scale to uniform, and set the value. After creating size by life, set the time and value. Create a particle emitter once more and set the required material to the smoke sub-UV material provided in start content. Next, set emitter loop to 1, sub-UV to 8, and interpolation method to linear to divide UV into frames and play them continuously. Set the count of bursts in spawn. Set the values of lifetime and initial size. Remove initial velocity, set time and color in color over life. Create a sphere location and set the start radius value to be similar to the previous emitter. Next, create initial rotation and initial rotation rate and set min and max values as shown in the video to set the rotation value and rotation rate. Finally, use size by like to set the time and value so that the fog spreads out just like the explosive emitter. When finished, save and return to the content browser. After importing the first person template, there will be a first person BP folder. In that folder, find the first person projectile blueprint and click on it. Remove all nodes from the event graph except for the event hit node and the destroy actor node. Next, create a sequence node and connect it with the event hit node. Create a do once node and connect it to the sequence node. Create a spawn emitter at location node and connect it with the do once node so that the particle only appears once. After bringing the collision component into the event graph, use the get world location node to get the location value of the projectile in the world. Then connect the get world location node to the spawn emitter at location. Next, create a set visibility node with the sphere component attached to it and set it to false to make the bullet invisible as soon as it hits. After that, create a delay node. Use the delay node to prevent the projectile blueprint from disappearing for as long as the particle is active. Now, go back to the level and play. Explosive particles will appear where the projectiles collide. 